What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mystery Box Monday. Yes, we don't really have that I don't really have that much today to show you. Um yeah. Uh, I'm sure you all saw my last video about what happened with a lot of water damage on my collection. Um, yeah, kind of put me off uh, for the last couple of days. I've been trying to clean up and reorganize and trying to just get everything uh, out of the way and dry, to be honest, because having water damage through a vast majority of my collection was not fun at all. So uh, yeah, that's the box for today. Kind of... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, not very much. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the box because, well, yeah, as you can see, there's only a couple of items today. Um, we will open this one here up. So what we'll do is we'll go through these ones here first. Uh, don't worry, I do have a couple of things off to the side to make up for it. Um, we will open a few items and uh, have a look at a couple of other items. And uh, yeah, I hope, you, I hope you don't mind that I didn't really have anything organized for this week. It's just been a rather, rather crazy last couple of days with this wild, wild weather. Uh, yeah, but thankfully I was able to find a couple of items and one of them being this super cool tuned version of the classic TV series Batmobile. And I just have to say, this is incredibly cool. I'm sure, you, I'm sure a lot of you guys know I'm a big Batman fan, do quite enjoy the Batman franchise. Well, most of the Batman franchise anyway. Uh, but I do quite like the TV series Batmobile, kind of a generational thing. I do love the old TV series, it was really, really cool. A lot of entertainment. Adam West was hilarious as the Batman. And yeah, uh, don't really want to open this one here up just yet. So we're going to keep this one here on the card for the time being. If I do find another one in the future, I will most definitely open it. But I have to keep at least one Batmobile on the card for my collection. Uh, yeah, really hope you don't mind that, but how cool is that? Absolutely crazy looking car. Great detail all over it still, just a very, very tuned version. And there we go, there's the back there. Um, the only Hot Wheels I was able to, f well, the only mainline Hot Wheels I was able to find this week, so a nice one to have anyway. Actually, I do lie, I did find a couple of other ones, but they weren't anything that I was remotely interested in, so I didn't bother to pick those up because, well, I'm not going to waste money on something that I do not like. Uh, new Boulevard series. Yes, I actually found the Volkswagen Drag Bus. Can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Stunning looking vehicle. There we go, there's the card art there. Uh, we'll have a look at the back here. This is the set which is in here. Uh, really, really nice range of cars, so pretty awesome there. You see the Volkswagen Deluxe station wagon there. Uh, pretty cool, but uh, if, you, if you've seen any other videos of this set already, you'll see that this one here has kind of the worst tampo printing I have ever seen on a vehicle. It looks like something from, well, from the early 90s, like an old very very old bubble jet printer has printed these out because the tempos are so so blurry on them they're not crisp like you see on these ones here see how the nice line is very crisp on there nice coloration everything like that very clear looking uh, it's incredibly blurry so uh, I don't know if it was just the ones that I've seen but yeah uh, you'll have to let me know if you guys have seen this as well and what is your opinion on the uh, terrible terrible attempt of the tempos on that it, it was rather rather annoying to be honest uh, but anyway we'll ignore that and we'll just have a quick look at the Volkswagen drag bus here really really cool I'm surprised that this Boulevard series is still going uh, number 42 from the set a little bit insane a little bit too long I think that doing 50 cars for a Boulevard series is just I won't say the word, <laughs> it, it is just ridiculous because we're up to number 45 for this set. So yeah, uh, I think that the Boulevard series needs to stop and think that they need to start putting these into their own sets because yeah, as I said, 45 cars for one set is just just ridiculous. It, 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 talk about a price gouge and uh, a little bit of a, a rip off for the collector 
who wants different series and not just the same one over and over and over and over again. Um, did find one Matchbox car. This is the new Matchbox packaging. You only get one picture on one side now before they have a picture on that side and a picture on this side. But instead that they've changed it to put uh, useless information on the top. So we get one picture, useless information, uh, some useless information and more useless information there. And yeah, kind of annoying how they're kind of been incredibly lazy at Matchbox and Hot Wheels lately. Uh, Mattel in general is just trying to rip people off by not even bothering with their sets. So yeah, it's a little bit annoying, a little bit frustrating, but at least we are still getting some pretty cool looking cars. And this one here is the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Nice metallic black color, gets those lensed headlights to get them this, the Mitsubishi badge on the front there. Indicator on the side, uh, some chromey wheels there and grey interior and my camera is fogging up for some reason what's going on I'm not too sure uh, i assume that is because there's still a lot of moisture within my room and it's still playing havoc with just about everything uh license plate has the mercedes um, <laughs> why do i keep saying mercedes has the mitsubishi badge on the back and the camera is fogging up once again i do not know what's going on there I, all i can do is apologize Brake lights, 3000 GT on the back there. Really a cool looking casting. No giant post in the back there to ruin the casting either. But really, really nice. I do quite like the look of that. Very happy for that. I should do a comparison with the Hot Wheels version of this. That would be pretty cool to see. So yeah. And there we go, guys. Thanks for joining me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't worry, we still have a couple of other items to open. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Move all this stuff over here, get that, all of that stuff out of the way there so we can still see a lot of it. Because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bring into the frame a Ghostbusters Ecto-1. It's a uh, model kit as far as I know. Uh, there we go. See the Slimer on the side there. Really, really cool. I have never seen these before, but I did find it for nice and cheap. $8 for this, which makes this the same price as the drag bus there, so yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, what have we got on there? There we go, that's what it's going to look like. It's a put together model kit, so what I'm going to do to make up for today's episode is I'm going to give you another video tomorrow and we're going to open this. Yeah, we're going to open this up and we're going to put this together and we're going to have the Ecto-1, really, really cool. There's some extra information there as well. Pretty cool, some extra languages. Uh, barcode and mumbo jumbo yeah not too bad and there's uh, some licensing everything like that there too so yeah pretty awesome to find the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 we'll pop this off to the side here now uh, you're probably wondering what's with all this stuff up the back well I put that up there to stop it from uh, getting too much moisture into it and I thought I'd just put it onto display and also the other day I found the chase version of the Steve Irwin uh, pop vinyl. Really, really cool. Limited edition chase. He's, he's supposed to be carrying a crocodile, but on this one, he's actually holding the uh, little turtle there. So that is really, really cool. I'm sure a lot of you guys know exactly who Steve Irwin, Irwin is. Uh, if you do not know who Steve Irwin is, he is one of Australia's greatest people ever. The amount of uh, good that he has done for this country is incredibly cool. He's an absolute legend in Australia. So yeah, very, very nice to actually add this into the collection. And I will be finding the standard version of this as well, just so that I have both versions for the pop vinyl collection. Let me just pop that back up there. And up the back I have my uh, Don Toretto and the Jacob Toretto Fast and Furious cars. Got some majorettes in the back there. So that's pretty awesome. And the next item that I have for this today is the Batman and Bat Batmobile and Batman from the Jada Hollywood rides. And this one here has the really, really cool opening feature. It has the, the uh, top canopy which opens and closes. Very, very cool. Very cool. In my collection, I only have two of these. Uh, I have this one here, plus I have the TV series Batman and Batmobile there. 
And I'm not really interested in any of these other ones. I probably will try to find the Batman Forever one as well. Uh, but I'm not interested in the Dark Knight uh, movies. Not interested in those at all. And I might, probably won't, but I might get the Justice League Batmobile as well. But yeah, the only two I really collect is the Michael Keaton Batmobile and the Adam West Batmobile. And the other two I don't, other lot I don't really care. Uh, the George Clooney Batmobile looks really, really cool, but once again, not my biggest fav favorite in the collection. The animated Batman series looks really cool. I like that. Open that. So okay, so maybe I'll get this one as well. Maybe I'll get that one as well. But very, very awesome. And you see Michael Keaton there <laughs> um, on the base. There's not really any information. Uh, there's a barcode. I don't know if that'll help anybody, but still awesome to get and put that guy up the back there and to make up for today's lack of content in the episode we're actually going to open up the Barago GTR yes I wanted to do a separate episode for this but due to everything that's happened and the fact that I'm completely unprepared for today's episode we're going to open this one up uh, there's the price there I got this for $14 from TK Maxx make sure that you go and check your local TK Maxx if you have one near you because they quite often have random stuff like this. Very, very cool. But let's get this guy out of the box, get it off the base and have a nice look at this car. Wow, I love that pearl white color. That color is really, really nice. All right, let's get the screwdriver out. Try and do this as quickly as possible. Sometimes these screws can be rather long and take a while to get out. I really should just get my power screwdriver for this and open it in one second. Just go, zzz, done. <laughs> Actually, I could probably get, I could have probably gotten that before this because it is literally sitting maybe 15 feet from me, 10 feet from me. So yeah, I could have done that, but Yep, yeah, as I said, I am completely unprepared for today's episode. So we'll grab this and we'll grab a little stand. Where is it? Oop, as I knock everything over as usual. There we go. Nice little stand there. Wow, that is cool. Move that out of the way for a second so we can get a good view of this. Very, very nice. And it also has some of this... There we go, get rid of that. So we can actually open up these doors. Oh, it's a nice little click on that. That's really nice, nice and crisp. Oh, there's also a, uh, a elastic band on here, which is already sticking to the paint. So we've got to get that off before it actually takes the paint with it. I know a lot of you guys out there in the collecting world really don't like these bands because they do, after a little while, they will take, they'll actually stick to the paint and they'll take the paint off with the band as you remove it. So really, really cool. All right, let's just have a look at it. By the front there, you can see the GTR badge in the grill there. It's got some nice silver paint around there as well. Very nice, nice lensed headlights. Nicely detailed headlights, I have to say. Uh, grill sections there. There's little marker lights, everything like that, little fog lights. Uh, there's a little little thing there, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Could possibly be anything. Nice wheels. Those wheels look really, really cool. Oh, it also has some uh, black paint on the bottom half of the mirror. Did not notice that at all. Uh, we'll keep going around and have a look. Those wheels look really cool. Nice detail in the actual side skirts. Wow. Around the back there we have the chrome tip exhausts, nice lens tail lights with the reverse lights in the center of them, nice wing on the top there as well, GTR on the badge there, got the Nissan badge there, uh, this does not open for the boot, uh, it's got Nissan GTR on the license plate, wow, that is really really cool, it's got a little bit of red marker paint there, uh, this whole back section here is actually plastic. So uh, this is all metal, but this little body kit section is plastic. On the side here we also have the GTR and a little bit of silver paint there as well. 
and we have some actual mirror on the mirrors nice reflective mirror there we'll open this up and try and get a good look inside the interior wow that is so cool nicely detailed interior uh, you can see some of the detail on the actual door cards themselves there you go pretty cool looking car get a little bit of a view inside there it's got a nicely painted up center or nicely detailed center console there yeah that actually looks really really nice really nicely done i have to say very cool i see we've got some black paint around the window as well black vents on the front there and let's see if we can actually open up the bonnet here see if we can get this open without too much trouble We'll have to find a spot where we, up. Oh, there we go. We just turn it upside down and we can open it. Oh, wow. Oh my, wow. Now that is a fantastically detailed engine. That is cool. Come on camera, focus. Now that is a really, really nicely detailed engine with the twin turbos and everything going on there. I like that quite a lot. There you go. That is one of the bonuses of buying a Barago model. Uh, this was, uh, what size was this? Uh, what did I do with the box? I threw the box somewhere, but I can't see it now. Um, <laughs> okay, that's, <clears throat> oh, there it is, found it. <laughs> it took me a while. One uh, twenty-fourth scale. So that is really, really cool. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this little bit of a, a bonus for this video. I know it's a very, very short video compared to what we usually have. We normally get to about half an hour, 40 minutes or so, but uh, yeah, because I was completely unprepared for today, we kind of just have this to go off. So yeah, let's uh, move the camera just a little bit there. There we go. We can see Steve up the top there. So yeah. Uh, hope you don't mind it being a little bit of a short episode uh, once again i'd like to say thanks to everybody who commented on my last video uh, those kind words meant a lot to me uh, i'm very very thankful for all those kind words because i was not in a good mood for the last couple of days i was kind of kind of kind of in a bad mood so yeah um oh i forgot to show you being a barago it actually has steerable wheels so let's get to the steering wheel uh, I don't want to force it, but the Baragos always have actually movable wheels. Maybe you can see it from this side. No, can't see it moving. It's a little bit tight in there, but yeah, the wheels actually move for that. So yeah, once again, I'd like to say thanks to everybody who joined. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's episode, even though it was a short one. I'll make up for it for the next couple of days. We're going to get a video of this tomorrow, but I thought I might do a video on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as well. So every day this week, we'll get a video. And if I if I can get around to it, I'll do Saturday and Sunday as well. So don't, maybe I won't do Saturday and Sunday, but if I do, that will be a nice little bonus for everybody. So yeah, so thanks to everybody who joined. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you all next week. Thanks guys, bye.